going on everybody? It's your girl, Sneaker Mom here. And today I'm going to be reviewing a new Air Jordan 1 Low and Travis Scott Phantom. Let's get into it. First, you're going to start off with this nice box that's all black with all the different Travis Scott symbols on the top. You got your Cactus Jack, your normal... Uh, Travis got a little face symbol right there. Then you got the uh, wings right here, Air Jordan wings. Then you got Nike Air. Pretty much just a nice descriptive box with all these different symbols on the box. And it's like nice, like a, I would say like a shiny material. So you can see all those different symbols. Very, very nice. Super excited, y'all, because this is my first ever Travis Scott. Never had any, never was able to hit. But Nike blessed me on this one right here. And I was finally able to hit. So as we all know, this is a pullout. So I'm pulling this out. Comes, that's all pretty much on that. We're going to drop that. But then here goes the top of the box. So you got that Nike and that shiny color. Nike right here on this side. Same on this side. But then we're going to get to the front of the box. And it reads Air Jordan 1 Low OG SP. And the colorway is black, phantom, and black. Let's get into the insides. Opening up the box, pretty much you still got your normal stamp of approval. Right there on top of the box. Inside the box, you got this nice white tissue paper on the inside but as we all know these ones right here came wrapped in these black bandanas so this is what we got right here this is the shoes were both wrapped in this black bandana which is very nice got one that I had already took off the other one and it's just very it's just detailed you got your Air Jordan symbol right here and it's like a purplish mauve looking color right here on this uh, part of the bandana then you got your cactus jack right here it says cactus jack flight right there in that same mauve uh, purple colorway. Overall, it's just nice clean. It's like a black and an off-white uh, color going throughout this nice bandana that the shoes was wrapped in. But let's go ahead and get into the main ingredient of this video, and that is the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott Black Phantom. All right, like I said, super excited. First ever Travis Scott. I know everyone might say it's, it's the one that nobody wanted just because it's all black. Me personally, I didn't care. It was a Travis Scott. I had entered in every single Travis Scott raffle and everything for every shoe, no matter which color it was for the lows, was never ever able to hit. Finally able to get my hands on one. Super excited. This is the all black phantom color. And to me, hey, it looks good. It's all black. I mean, how can you go wrong with an all black shoe? I know a lot of people saying it looks basic, kind of reminds you of just a regular Jordan 1 Low. No, it's not. It's an Air Jordan 1 Black Phantom, and it's an OG, and I'm loving it. Like I said, just overall nice, clean shoe. I love the two different materials they got on here. You got this nice black Nubuck and this nice black suede going throughout the shoe. Just a very clean shoe, and you can't go wrong with it. So let's go ahead and get into the description of the shoe. As you can see, it will, they all, uh, Charles Scott shoes are known for that backwards Nike swoosh right here on the side. It's in that nice new book material. And then you got that nice white stitching coming outlining the uh, Nike check going back to the front right here on top of the toe. Like I said, you got that all black new book right here on the top of the toe. Very clean, all black shoelaces, but as we all know, they do come with two extra sets of laces, which we'll get to that on the next shoe. Um, you got the tongue, you got your Nike Air right here on the tongue. And as we all know, when we pull this tongue over, you got your Cactus Jack right there on the side in that red um, on the side of the tongue. Also, going to the side, back to, sorry, the opposite side where you got the black Nike check, normal Nike check, but it's still outlined in that white stitching. Like I said, the whole shoe outlined in the white stitching. Inside the shoe, it just says Travis Scott, and that's on the inside. I'm trying to pull that insert out for y'all so you can see the whole insert. Um, going to the bottom, the bottom is just all rubber with that same outline of that white stitching. Flip it to the bottom, still just a normal all black bottle with that Nike Air on the bottom. Clean shoe, y'all. Clean shoe. Might be plain black, but I love it. And then another thing about these uh, laces, they are those wax laces. So I love wax laces also. But this is what the insert looks like. You got your Travis Scott right there, Nike Air. And then you got the Travis Scott symbol right here on the insoles, which is very nice. Very nice touch. Travis Scott shoes always have very nice details, as we all know. And it's just a clean shoe. Back of the shoe right here, you got the Air Jordan wings right there in that white stitching. And it still has that nice suede, kind of a hairy suede right here on the back of the heel of the shoe, which is nice. And then that sock liner is like a, I would say like a nappy type material. 
on this salt liner right here. It's different, not like a normal salt liner, but if you can see, it's like a different, it reminds me of like some cotton or something, but it's like a black, different type of material. But overall, just nice, clean shoe, y'all. Can't go wrong with these. I was super excited to get them. That was the uh, right shoe. So let's get to the left shoe. As you can see, like I said, it came with the two extra laces. You got these nice, wide, uh, black and white laces, which I have added in these right here. I think these are going to be the go-tos for me, but I don't know, y'all. These red ones might bring them out just a little bit also. And if I want to stay incogno, in key, I know I'm saying it wrong, incognito, <laughs> I'm going with these all blacks right here. So either way, clean. This was what I said, a white, white and black laces. Then they got the red ones. Shoe looks the same as that way, except for on this shoe right here, you got your cactus jack right here on the side of that Nike chip right there, if you can see. You got your cactus jack right there. Same hairy suede on the back of the heel. But then on the back of this heel, you got a B. I'm thinking they're saying this is uh, symbolizing his daughter Stormy, as we all know. He has a daughter with Kendall Jenner with from the Kardashians. And um, this right here symbolizes her. So that's why it's on this shoe. I think this whole shoe is pretty much like a dedication to his daughter. Overall, that is, it's just clean. I like the concept. I love the way it looks. And the quality control on these, mine are A1. I don't under, I've seen a lot of people that had a lot of bad quality control, but mine looks perfectly fine to me. Haven't seen anything wrong with it. I mean, this is the hairy suede on the heel. So of course, once you move it, it's gonna look differently. But overall, still, everything looks good. White stitches everywhere. Uh, nothing coming out, no glue stains. So, hey, I'm all good over here. So I'm, now like I said, I've seen some people with their reviews saying that they have some quality control issues. But as we all know, that can happen to any shoes these days. So I was just lucky enough to get one that didn't have any bad issues and I'm happy with that. So we're gonna continue with the inside. This one looks the same way. You got your Jordan symbol in this one. Let me try to pull this one out because it's different from the other insert. And this one has, well, if it come out, it has a Jordan symbol, a red Jordan symbol and it says Cactus Jack. And this one is in there a little tighter, but there we go. Cactus Jack, Jordan symbol, and then you got the uh, Jordan wings right here. So this is what the two inserts look like. Two different inserts. This one has this, and then this one has the Travis Scott and his uh, symbol on this one. So very nice touch, different, very different descriptive of uh, things going on with each one of those. But like I said, overall, clean shoe. And this other shoe did have that Cactus Jack on it right here on the side. I just missed it for showing y'all that. But they both got the Cactus Jack, and you know, Harry Suede, new book all black and white you can't go wrong y'all i know a lot of people just they i mean the other uh three that he already had brought out there was all nice trust me i really wanted those but since i got this one hey i'm happy as long as i got one travis scott for retail i'm good because i won't pay no resale for no travis scott shoes at all because they are ridiculous in my opinion but i know a lot of people love them so they go for them anyway but me me, I'm a retail gang over here, so lucky enough I was able to cop these retail on the Nike uh, sneakers out when they dropped. Retail for $150, and um, yeah, this was a men's shoe, and uh, true to size for me, um, but I had to go up a half a size just because I see I seen the uh, sizing and how many quantity they had at each one, so I was like, six and a half had a little bit more, so I went for the six and a half, and I was able to get that one, so no complaints, I just wear some thick socks and I'll be good to go. But overall, it's not too much room up there in the toe, so I'm good to go. But then, like I said, still the front of this toe right here, you got that nice, uh, nice uh, hairy suede coming throughout the front of the toe right here, as you can see. But just looking at the overall de details of the shoe, as you can see, it's just a nice quality shoe with the new bunks, new bucks and the hairy suede and the rubber that's on the bottom of the shoe. Clean shoe, y'all. Y'all let me know down in the comments below what y'all think about these. Did you go for them? Was you able to hit? Did you pass on them just because they're all black shoe? Y'all let me know down in the comments below what y'all think about these. Overall, like I said, clean shoe. Travis Scott, Phantom, Low, Air Jordan 1. I'm loving it. <laughs> but if you're new to watching my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can know when I post all my videos. Follow me on Instagram at sneakermom1721. And if you watch this long, Go ahead and hit that like button for you girls so I can go ahead and get my video out there in the YouTube universe. And that's all I got for y'all. And then if you want to see, I'm going to do a lace swap with all three laces. So stay tuned to the end of the video to watch the uh, on feats. And that's all I got for y'all. So until the next time, it's your girl Sneaker Mom. Peace.